So what's so special about the phenomenon of superconductivity? So this phenomenon was discovered in 1911 in a completely unexpected way. So in Leiden, in Holland, Kameling owns, what he did is refrigerate some mercury in a fridge of helium. And when he lowered the temperature, when he crossed on the, a bit below 4 Kelvin, then the resistance uh, of this metal suddenly dropped. And it dropped to zero. But what I mean zero is not 0 0.01, 0 0.01, it's just absolute zero. It's, it's just null. Um, and this has a very uh, unexpected and a strong consequence for the physicist. Uh, that, uh, for example, uh, if you put a, a superconductor into, uh, uh, into a, a wire here, and you put a little bit of current, this current will turn uh, forever without decaying. So it's, it's a permanent uh, phenomenon. And which never decay in time, and this is extremely unusual in physics because we are in a world where everything depends on time, and this has enormous applications. Like you see, for example, uh, already you have uh, you have this application in an MR, and, and when you go in a hospital for IRM, and uh, and uh, you would not lose energy uh, by turning uh, this current into the superconducting wire, uh, which means that uh, just imagine what what would happen if we had this phenomenon at uh, at room temperature it will change completely the energetic landscape uh, that we are, we are used to. For example, you could forget about the, uh, the trans uh, high wire for transmission of current. Uh, you would have uh, some uh, generation of very strong magnetic fields, and uh, you could uh, transport energy for almo at almost no cost. And that's why physicists at the moment are so fascinated by uh, high temperature superconductivity, and the quest for it is very strong and uh, very exciting.